Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. What happens when someone has an anal scene and there's like feces? Like, I know this is gross, but I'm like, what, what do you guys, like, I feel like I'd freak out. Like what, if something gross happens, like how, what does this set do to kind of manage it and maintain a professional environment? Like, like a porn blooper, I guess. Um, I'm trying to ask that like, in a sincere manner, not like jokingly <laughs> in a trolling way, but like, cause that's like the one thing that like freaks me out about it. It's just like, we're all human and we have gross stuff that comes out of our bodies. <laughs> like how do you deal with that around strangers or sure. fellow actors mm-hmm. um, and performers? So um, that's something I'm curious to hear about, but I'm sure it's been discussed. I've heard a lot of your podcasts. Maybe I missed it. Um, okay. Thank you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Um, my phone number. No, my email is. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, we don't need. She's adorable. She's super adorable. Yeah, we don't need the rest of the world uh, contacting her. Well, let me tell you about my poop situation. Yeah, all of a sudden her her thing's just blowing up. (laughs) Her shit is just blowing up. (laughs) Well, thank you, Ellen, for that question. I uh, it's it's happened. Mm -hmm. Um, It and you know I don't know. And Monique, obviously, um, you can probably you're probably a better person to answer this question because you're the person who's actually in the physical body. Yeah. The the contact situation. But for me, it doesn't really freak me out because first of all, I'm jaded. I've been in this industry forever. I've seen it all. And I also too feel like we're kind of like this big family and we understand that these things happen and we know that people are human and we know that this, that, that sometimes accidents occur and yeah. it's, and it, I mean, look, it's, it's not like someone has ever like literally like blown diarrhea all over the wall or anything Ugh. like that. If that happened, I might be a little bit concerned, but you know, there's been like, I'm little- sure some guys have some pretty crazy stories about some girls doing that to them. <laughs> I am not one of those girls. <laughs> Cody Steele actually has a, re- I think it was Cody Steele had a really good, uh, really good, um, story about that. But what do you think? Um, <clears throat> that was like my always, obviously my biggest fear, you know, at doing anal is like pooping on somebody. I'm like, I don't yeah. want to shit on anybody. Yeah. <laughs> um, so for me, like for what I do is, you know, this is everybody's different. Everybody's bodies are different. Um, so for instance, what I do is like, I stop eating the night before at a certain time and I don't eat until the, the scene is over. Mm-hmm. And so like the night before, like I clean my butthole out and I don't use like an enema with the actual stuff in it. I empty that out and put water in the enema and do that. And then I do it. And like stretch out my butt that night. And then on set, you know, they give us time to do that as well. Um, I have worked with some girls because not everybody likes to douche. Mm -hmm. And I know it's not healthy to douche all the time, but um, sometimes you have to, especially when it's porn, you have to because nobody wants to see all the cream. Yeah. (laughs) And I've had some girls that have, you know, smelled pretty bad, but it's all about tact. Mm -hmm. I actually have a really funny story from Earl Miller. Oh, Oh, this is a good one. Brand new in the business. Okay. So one of his assistants, they always used, he always used to gloss up your pussy. Yeah. So he had this little thing and his assistant would come in and you'd be like, you know, all contorted or whatever. And he'd come in and he'd gloss up your vagina and gloss up your butthole. What did he use? It was probably like a lube, but he had like a Q-tip or whatever. And just to make it look shiny. Yeah. And so I remember this one time I'm like, you know, it was I probably one of the first time shooting with him. And no, it was probably a while because I was actually a little bit more comfortable. Mm-hmm. And his assistant was like digging in my asshole. And I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm sorry. You have a little poop in your butt. And I said, oh my God, it's a birth. It's a beauty mark. I have a beauty mark in my butt. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, but I was no. so embarrassed because it's before I ever did girl girl or anything. And I'm like, yeah. this guy's like thinking I have butt or butt yeah. uh, that I have poop in my butt. And I'm like, I was so mortified, but I'm like, no, it's a beauty mark. Then he looked and he's like, oh shit, you're right. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. That is 100% <laughs> happened to me too, where I've looked at a girl and same thing. She had a mole or a beauty mark mm-hmm. and from far away, I can't fucking tell. Right. Right. And, um, I've had, yeah, I pulled him aside. I'm like, do you have like a mole or like, you know yeah. what I mean? And then there was this one girl that I shot, this European girl and her <laughs> there was something up with their pussy lips. It was kind of weird. Like they got real 
dark at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like real dark, like more so than others. And she looked like she, it looked from far away like dried blood. Oh, no. And I was like, you need to wipe. And then like she did and it was the same. And I was like, oh, shit. And then she told me, she's like, my lips just look like that. And I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <That's- laughs> but it's like, you don't want to not say anything and then yeah, that, that be that case. And then, yeah. Right. So, I, I you know, it, it happens. All the things happen. You get, you get the, you know, the girls that start their periods mm-hmm. or, you know, I mean, that's happened to me where, you know, and that's what, <laughs> hi. By the way, if you're on your period, you, you still got to go to work. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Even yeah. as a stripper. I remember when I was a house dancer and I asked the girls, I go, so when, um, this is before I was in porn. So I was like, um, so what happens when we're on our period? Do we like not have to work? And that girl started laughing at me. They're like, girl, you just tuck the string in. And I was like, oh, they're like, either tuck it in or cut it out, cut it off. And I was yeah. like, oh, okay, cool. No problem. So then it happened. And so I cut it off, right? Couldn't get the tampon out. Oh, no. And I had to have my ex-boyfriend come over and take it. He got it to like one level. This is before porn. Now I could care less. Yeah. Because being in porn, you're so jaded and you're so used to seeing that shit. Yeah. Like when we have to shoot scenes and, and, and wear sponges when we're on our period, like I'll make the guy dig it out because I call it sponge diving because yeah. they'll shove it so <laughs> far up. With their penis. With their penis that I can't get in there and get it. Yeah. So then I'll like go in a pile driver so it opens it up and I make them fish hook it out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just so normal for us. I'd yeah. be more embarrassed with a civilian with somebody yeah. who isn't in porn but we're just so used to it but if I pooped on somebody in like real life I'd be like oh my god <laughs> yeah it, it is, it's happened I was shooting an anal scene once and the girl had done an enema but I think like not all the water Ooh. had come out oh yeah I've had that happen and, or she enema too much in her butthole so there was like water in there I've had that happen yeah and so like when she was we were doing a position she came up and there was a little bit of like and I think it was mostly just like brown water yeah um, and she ran to the bathroom and like freaked out and wouldn't come out for like 20 minutes. And I was like, it's okay. And the guy was like, dude, it's fine. Like this happens. And I was like, it's okay. It's so embarrassing. Like I'm going to, I'm, I can't believe I'm going to tell you guys this right now, but when we were shooting the finale for browser's house, mm-hmm. um, two, I had never done a DP. So I was like, I'm going to win this shit and I'm going to do a DP. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's Kieran and Xander. Mm-hmm. Kieran's on the bottom. And Xander's on the top. And um, Xander's in my vagina, basically. Kieran's in my butt. And we're doing it. And I, <laughs> I shit all over Kieran. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. And because they're filming it. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm white, but I'm so embarrassed. But I was like, thank God it was him. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, if I could shit on anybody. <laughs> thank God it was Kieran. <laughs> that was the worst. So now I'm very, because when you're in a DP, it's like a whole nother level of like letting yourself go. Yeah. And I didn't really think I was going to do anything like that in that. So I wasn't as, um, prepared, I guess I, I didn't, you know, yeah. I, yeah. I ate at past a certain time, you know, type mm-hmm. of thing and, and whatnot. So I, now I, I refuse to, cause I don't ever want that happen to happen again, yeah. but I'm glad it happened to Kieran. His wife, Kirsten Price is one of my closest friends. Yeah. So I was like, yo, I shit on your husband today. She's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to do yeah. that. <laughs> So I can't believe I just told you guys that. That's awesome. <laughs> but that was the only time, but I'm not gonna lie. I was so embarrassed. She's like, Mo, it's fine. It's totally fine. I was like, thank God it was you. Like, thank you, Jesus. It was him. <laughs> so yeah. So Ellen, to answer your question, it happens. Yeah. And you just kind of roll with the punches. Yeah. And it's just like one of those things. It, you know, it's like you just sweep it under the rug. You clean yeah. it off and you get back on. <laughs> sure. You just get right back on that horse. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Their lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer that will not only not nick or snag your nuts, but can also be used on your chest hair. If you get it in the perfect package 3.0, it will come with a bunch of liquid formulas to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day. And for a limited time, you can also get a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs that come with it. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.